everybody. I hope everybody's Thanksgiving went well. Um, mine did. I'm sure if you are watching my Facebook page, you know that I was in Puerto Rico for the good part of the week and through Thanksgiving. Um, thanks to my father-in-law and his generosity, we were able to enjoy a beautiful week in the tropics and get away from this weather. I'm not trying to rub it in or anything. I know a lot of you got blasted with cold. Um, if it was up to me, I'd be there three months out of the year where it's warm. The rest of the time, I can enjoy the spring and the summer here and the fall. Anyway, while I was there, I know a lot of you were um, commenting and messaging me about taking orchids home because I did post a lot of pictures about orchids, but I didn't, and there's a reason why. Um, I didn't know how difficult it would have been to get them through customs, even though I'm sure that it would be okay. It's a commonwealth of the United States. I just figured you might get a receipt for something of that nature, and I just didn't want to go through the rigmarole with my family there at the time of the morning that we were coming back. So, I did, however, bring back seeds. I was able to do some foraging while I was there. Not eating, but I was foraging. Um, while I was enjoying um, some of the walks through the jungles and stuff in the rainforests, I found trees that I still don't know the name of. I'm pretty sure I know these two, but this large, ugly, reddish brown thing um, came off of a tree that resembled a strangler fig. I know this is not a fig. It's not an almond, because there was almond forest there. Um, I don't know what this is. I often found it floating around on the beach, or in the water or in the beach. Um, the tree that it came from is, was gigantic. It almost looked like it was an epiphyte of some sort at one point in time, and it would strangle the host tree and then drive aerial roots in the ground. But it was everywhere. And I figured, what the hell? Bring it home. It's a tropical tree. It'll grow in a warm grow space. But um, I did already plant one into a paper towel method to see what happened. I stripped all the flesh off of it. Um, they don't they smell horrible. But it's a big nut underneath, so it's almost the size of a mango seed. But it's pretty neat, so I figured I'd try to bring that back. Um, these little seeds over here, they're really small. Um, they came from a fruit that kind of looked like a tomato. Sort of, um, but not. Inside was a hollow chamber. So, I don't know what it was. I looked it up. I couldn't find any information, and I really did try on these two. Um, but it was pretty neat. I planted a couple also in paper towel method. These two lovely looking fibrous nuts <laughs> came from a um, Christmas palm. They were everywhere. Um, basically, they look like a date palm, but they're not. Um, they just a regular palm, like a royal palm, with a big bunch of these red fruits. That red, they turn red this time of year for the holidays. So I got two of those. And then the other tree I kept seeing everywhere, that I think it was used for erosion control, were these little guys. Now, they're not completely stripped, but they will be eventually. I wanted to dry them out before I did anything with them. These were sea grapes, and I found this tree growing everywhere. But it was great because it kept, you know, good erosion control for the ocean. Um, what I really plan on doing with these is because it's the holidays, and because I already have everything I really need. I got you guys. I got the seeds. I got everything. Um, I'm going to give these away, and it's like a seed giveaway. And what I want to do is for let's see, two, four. Yeah, I'll try to give away at least one or two depending on the size of the seed to see what happens. Um, I don't know how to do the planting methods for any of these. I'm just winging it as per any old seed so you guys can do what you want with it and you can scarify them if you want or strip the flesh from these. I did too. Or whatever. Or soak them overnight. But I think for the first ten people who comment in the comment box below I will send them to you. And that will be like a Merry Christmas for me to you guys. Um, and if I have any leftover other seeds that I have weighing around that are tropical, I will send them to you. Alright? Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. This is going to be a short video. Just wanted to make that announcement and uh, let you know that just send me a, uh, your information, and I will try to get these things out to you as fast as possible. I'm not guaranteeing they'll sprout. I'm not guaranteeing they'll grow. Just give it your best. 
Alright, and you guys, happy holidays.